Hi everyone, welcome to Random Fixes. So many people left comments in the RAM and SSD upgrade video asking me about how much RAM is compatible with the system. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the system RAM and the compatibility. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to talk about is the CPU. Laptops and computers sold in the last 10 years primarily use CPU that supports 64-bit system. If you are still using a 32-bit or even 16-bit CPU-based system, I really suggest you to get a new computer instead of messing around with an antique. If you're using Windows as an operating system, you can check out both your CPU and operating system information throughout the property tab of this PC. For example, the computer I'm using now has a 64-bit Windows installed on a processor that supports 64-bit operating system. You may also see a 32-bit system installed on a processor that supports a 64-bit operating system. Alright, that's the CPU part. Now we can discuss the question why 32-bit system can only have up to 4 gigs of RAM. First of all, we need to understand how binary numbering system works. Now since the computer can only recognize on and off signal, it has to use a binary numbering system instead of the decimal one that we are most familiar with. Now we can represent 10 different things with a single digit, that is 0 through 9, but a binary numbering system can only represent two different things with a single digit, that is 0 and 1. To represent more, it has to add more digit to that number, for example 0, 0. Since each digit can represent two different things, a binary number consists of two different digits can represent a total of 2 times 2 or 2 to the second power, that is 4 different things. And this is sort of a 2-bit system, so for a 32-bit system, it can represent 2 to the 32nd power different things, that is 4,294,967,296 different things. And the things we're talking here is information location on the RAM called byte. And 4,294,967,296 bytes is the same as 4 gigabyte. I know there's a lot of numbers here, but the concept is really easy. This is sort of like pouring water into multiple cups, and you have around 4 billion cups to store the waters that you want to put in. Now the more cups you have, the more water you can store. So for a 64-bit system, you can have way more locations to store information. So for a 64-bit system, the theoretical maximum RAM it could have is 2 to the 64th order bytes. But in reality, because of some limitations on the operating system and the motherboard, the maximum amount of RAM that a system could have is kept at around 128 gigs for a consumer level computer. Anyways, if you're not a heavy user, 80 gigs of RAM is probably good enough for you. And if you are somewhat heavy in multitasking, for example, editing videos and making CAD at the same time, 16 gigs or more is required. Alright, that's all for today's video. Hope that is helpful. And if you find this video interesting, remember to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.